<laughs> we're back. We should be back. 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 We're possibly, we're back. possibly back. back. In the New York group. In the New Better York group. <sighs> Good times, great memories. I remember video games. Will, do you remember video games? I just want to play video games. Xbox 360, PlayStation 2. Oh, God damn it. I, Wait, you didn't get that? <laughs> I, I know. I got it. I just hate the fact that that existed. I just want to play video games but all I, the time. I... Not finished. And every day. <laughs> Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2. Oh, it was GameCube? I thought it was 360. No, no, no. Know all about them before they're new. <laughs> I mean, he's imitating you, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're <laughs> fucking back. This is uh, Kyle Replays His Childhood, uh, IRM Stream's wonderful, inquisitive look at the games that I played a lot as a kid. And over the next couple of shows, we're going to be delving into a little something I like to call Arcade Memories. Because I spent a lot of time as a child at arcades. I played a f metric fuckload of arcade games. I had, had actually one of the greatest arcades in the world. Uh, in my backyard, uh, Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum in Farmington Hills, Michigan. If you are ever in the Detroit area, I highly recommend it and visit, not just for one of the greatest collections of pinballs uh, you'll ever see, but also for a lot of old school electromechanical machines. Uh, the owner recently passed away and I was actually in Michigan for business a couple weeks back and I made a visit and played a lot of pinball. Love that place. But... I will say this, my real true love and passion for the arcade medium doesn't just stem from uh, going to a lot of arcades as a kid, it stems from the multi-arcade machine emulator, aka MAME. And MAME is what's going to give us our games today. Up first, we're going to be bringing uh, some justice to Metro City, a well-known crime capital ruled by violence and death for many years. A fact which newly elected mayor and former street fighter Mike Hager wants to stop. At the center of the problem is the Mad Gear Gang. When Mad Gear learns of Hager's plan, they tend to take immediate action to bring the city under control. And I just fucking love this intro. <laughs> the corrupt gang is offering Mike Hagger either his daughter for his cooperation or... <laughs> Why make your job difficult? This led us to this release like the man before it. And that epic music in the background. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend some of the background music for Final Fight as well. It's it's beautiful. Hi folks. Hey Brian. Hi, I um God! Jessica was kidnapped! Jessica, my sweetheart's in childhood. That's how they sound in my head. Actually not that far off from when they added voice acting. Oh nice. They're like they're like they watch the Gravity Falls, they're like uh Xyler and Kraz. Uh first off, we gotta start out as Mayor Macho Mike Hagar because I was gonna say so Mike Hagar is the mayor, right? Yes, he is the mayor and former professional wrestler and street fighter. Which means he went he won an election. Which means he probably ran a which means there's probably a smear campaign ad against him. Mike Hagger believes that punching solves all problems. Do you want a mayor who punches your tax dollars away? 
Pile driver. And another pile driver. Squisher. Squisher. <laughs> German suplex. German suplex. And I'm gonna drink beer in the street. Gotta love the pile drivers in this game. He doesn't do a spinning one a la Zangief, he just does a traditional, but it is a work of art. And completely unsafe because he ducks the opponent. Now, at the time Final Fight